Praise God. My name is Lisa. I have a son. His name is Kenneth. He we are from Goa. I want to share my testimony with you. My son was diagnosed for Brukrit lymphoma. It is a type of fast growing cancer in blood. Kenneth is just 7 years old. When I came to know about it, I was just be speechless. The very first thought that came to my mind is that I am going to lose my son. I was in depression for few days. All my family members, my friends, my colleagues, everybody was in touch with me. Was giving me courage to face this situation. Was praying for my son. One day my cousin put me in touch with sister clara i got to know about jci lm through her sister clara wrote it me in word of god she put sister smrita in touch with me as she had also gone through same situation and was better person to explain sister smrita told me about her journey how she dealt with her situation and came out fighting her battle in faith praise god sister smita put me in touch with another sister shila her son was also suffering through cancer we both were sharing our thoughts concerns with each other reaching out by warriors has helped me in a great way in healing of my son Sister Clara has helped me to get through this journey of life. There were many times such situations that I lost my hope, but she ministered me so well that I fought this tough battle of my son. Praise God. I was been told by doctors that my son needs to go through eight chemo sittings. it will take 10 months to him get recovered completely i was also been told there is only 80% chances during the course of treatment anything can happen his condition can be serious better or worse it was extremely hurting for me my son started with his treatment on 17th april 2020 2021 it was the time when covid cases in goa were very highly on raise on may 1st me and my son got positive for covid and his treatment for cancer was stopped and was shifted to covid ward since his immune system was low he got infection and started getting fever constantly it was 101 to 104 for nearly 4 to 5 days i started saying saying scriptures continuously that were taught to me finally his fever was normal and we got discharge from the hospital on 13th may on 14 for 15th may onwards doctor started with his treatment after completion of third chemo cycle doctor suggested to do ct scan of my son just to check on how he's responding to his treatment when his ct scan was done in june and we received the reports doctors were just shocked to see that there was only one small lymph node which was remaining near his neck praise god this was possible only because i believe in god by faith the prayers and the teachings were really turning into sowing of good seeds after completion of fourth cycle of my son bone marrow test were done all his reports were perfect and normal in jesus is name praise god finally my son completed his treatment 
within seven months where doctor has told us it will take around 10 months for him to get completely recovered doctors were amazed to see the change and speedy recovery in his treatment all praises to jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus love you jesus all glory to you jesus post his treatment there were few reports that were being asked to do and all his reports are perfect and normal in jesus name praise god now my son is back to normal life he's studying he's playing he's doing everything as a normal child praise god i would like to share few confessions scriptures teachings which were taught to me the very first scripture was christ has redeemed my son kenneth from the curse of the law by becoming a curse in his place thank you jesus for healing my son kenneth by your wounds and by your stripes thank you jesus praise you jesus love you jesus i was being told by sister to say the scriptures by opening my mouth first i did not understand then she explained me why to say scriptures by opening mouth as much as we speak good we sow the good seeds if we say bad all the time we sow bad seeds sister stopped me to speak about my son's sickness and repose to others as it was affecting my son's health i was sowing the bad seed by telling his sickness and reports to others i was taught to speak only good things about my son's health praise god sister made a agreement prayer using matthew 18 verse 18 19 20 mark 11 verse 24 and hebrews 1 verse 14 and gave me teachings on proverbs 18 verse 21 mark 1 verse 22 23 24 1 peter 2 verse 24 i was told to say scriptures 100 times in morning 100 times in the afternoon and 100 times in the evening on rosary braids Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Kenneth is born of incorruptible seeds by the word of God. And therefore, Jesus, your life and your spirit is flowing in Kenneth. Thank you, Jesus, for recreating all the organs in Kenneth's body and melting all the infirmities like wax for the mountain. Melt like a wax before the presence of the Lord of all the earth. Thank you, Jesus. There is a recreation of good cells and organs and healing in Kenneth for the glory of God the Father through you. Thank you, Jesus, by your wounds and by your stripes. Kenneth is completely healed. Praise you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. I was told to read Gospel of John one chapter in morning, one chapter in the afternoon, one chapter in night. Sister Clara was in touch with me daily. She taught me how to believe and live in faith. Every situation, such as reports, especially when it was not in favor of my son, sister built up my faith with scriptures to every situation. Praise God. I was saying the scriptures every day. Every procedure, Kenneth is going through Jesus. You are doing it. And it is not only peaceful, but total healing. Thank you, Jesus. Every declaration prays. Sister taught me to cancel all his bad reports in Jesus' name and believe in by saying, Jesus, I believe in your report and all the reports are perfect and normal in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Every time when my son's CBC reports were told to do, 
I was saying my scriptures. Thank you, Jesus. Kenneth Blood count is for like 40,000. Thank you, Father God. Kenneth has your DNA in his blood. Thank you, Christ. I will rejoice and praise you continually and give glory to you, for Kenneth is perfect as Father God. Love you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. At every chemo cycle, I was saying, in the name of Jesus, I command all God-given electrical and chemical frequency of every cell in Kenneth's body to be in balance and perfect harmony. I command all bad cells to be digested and eliminated in the name of Jesus. I speak new immune system into Kenneth's body in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say Psalm 91 and Psalm 23 daily. It has changed my life completely. All the scriptures has built my faith and my belief in Jesus. Praise God. This journey has taught me a wonderful experience with God. Now, in any situation, I don't worry. I pray to God. I ask what I want, believing in faith that I have already received it. I would like to convey believing in Jesus by faith you can victory any battle of life. Praise God. I would like to give a little background about uh, additional information. Now this this uh, call had gone to Sister Clara and uh, whilst the child was in the hospital uh, due to COVID and uh, First and foremost, he had the, the cancer treatment which was initiated and then there was COVID and uh, Sister Clara started ministering. So on the 9th of May, Sister Clara had uh, co connected with them. She had given the word of God with uh, Lisa and uh, the ninth night, uh, Sister Clara messaged me. There is this young boy who uh, is uh, undergoing treatment. Sister, I want you to talk to them and share your uh, testimony. So, since it was almost about uh, midnight that I received this message, I messaged Sister Lisa at 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, texting that, uh, can we speak in the evening? Because I, I knew that she was in the hospital and I didn't know when exactly she would be able to talk. And this sister so, so faithfully uh, replies me at about 7 o'clock, can we speak now? You know, this this. A message from her really encouraged me so much. We know that she's in the hospital. They have COVID. The child has uh, uh, cancer. And she has already been ministered by Sister Clara. Yet, when I wrote to her, she instantly uh, replied back to me. And I asked her if we could speak in the evening. But she was willing to talk to me that time itself, the moment she saw my message. So, we had a, uh, I had a sharing of my own, uh, the word of God as well as the word of my testimony. And uh, she told me that uh, Sister Clara has already given her homework. She has been very encouraged. And that uh, thing which had started in her when the diagnosis came about, she was in fear, she was depressed. The moment she got the word of God, the word of God comforted her. The truth really set her free and that after uh, ministering her and, and sending her a few teachings and testimonies, I allowed uh, Sister Sheila and Sister Clara to connect because she was already doing uh, the homework that Sister Clara was giving her and she was periodically in, in, in contact, like she said, even daily she was connecting. And Sister Sheila was also connecting with her, with the word of God that is flesh in Sister Sheila. So this journey of, um, you know, believing, following instructions, like I, I know that uh, Sister Lisa has been so faithful that she surely was faithful and she was available, she was teachable. She, whatever was taught to her, whatever teachings were given, she would do her homework. She was asked by Sister Clara to say those promises over her son's life 100 times in the morning, 100 times in the afternoon, 100 times in the evening. And she did it. Now the question is, some, some of us uh, who are listening in may think, okay, if I say it for 100 times, morning, afternoon, night, means I'm done, I get my manifestation. It, please understand that it is not about how many times you say, of course, 
faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god so when you keep speaking the promise of god when you speak the promise of god at the same time you believe whatever you have spoken according to the word of god your desire has come to pass so you following the instruction speaking it out of your mouth believing it in your heart this is what is giving us the manifestation this is what has given sister uh, sister lisa her victory and i i i remember sister clara also sharing with me saying that she would invite uh, sister lisa on on zoom calls she would attend but there was never a day that she actually uh, requested she even joined i think she would join at uh, happy families she would attend but she would never request for any anyone to pray over her isn't that so beautiful isn't it so amazing that this woman who was in fear and depression when she came to know about her son's diagnosis and mind you uh, kenneth is her only child of course for any parent even if you have 10 and 20 children it doesn't mean that any uh, if i have 20 children then i won't be concerned but you can imagine for somebody for whom is the only child how much more and then we know Jesus is the only begotten only beloved son of the father God the father gave his only beloved son so that whoever bel- believes in him shall not perish but live so one son is given to the world so that the rest of the children of God are restored in abundant life in perfect life in in all that we need 